Fusion Blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'm your host today. And I was just talking to Truth Raider from Oregon. We just started the call and we... Had to go to commercial break. Truth Raider, uh, go ahead and tell us what you wanted to talk about. Hey, David, no worries. No worries about that at all. In 1775, Sir Patrick Henry uttered these words, Give me liberty or give me death. That was on March 23rd, 1775. That was missed last week, unfortunately. And then in this date, March 23rd, 2005, Bush did the treasonous act of signing our country away with the SPPA Act. Mm -hmm. between Vicente Fox and the Prime Minister of Canada, I believe it's Martin, I believe it is. And that uh, made us into one North American union. Well, what do you think about the Trans-Pacific uh, Trade Agreement, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership? Uh, that, I think that's, that's like a subsection of it, perhaps. Well, actually, they're kind of expanding it. They're, 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 uh, you know, they, they, they're trying to create these regional centers, like you pointed out with uh, NAFTA. Now they've got TPP and they've got uh, uh, TAFT, Transatlantic uh, uh, Free Trade Agreement, which is essentially taking the Atlantic and the Pacific. They're going to, what they're doing is they're consolidating into these regional trade groups, and then they're moving to 
expanded into a global trade group, of course. It's all about consolidation. And the thing I think that is amazing is how blatant the TPP is in terms of being a substitute for CISPA, how they are elevating corporations to the level of countries, as we've already seen with NAFTA. We're seeing that again with these agreements where you have a you have three people that are going to hear all the cases. One of them will be picked by the corporation. One will be picked by the, uh, by the country. Essentially, they have the same influence as the countries in terms of deciding what the laws are going to be in terms of adjudicating these different agreements. It's absolutely amazing how we're moving to this global corporatocracy. Yes, it is. It's what you'd basically call a corporate tyranny in itself. Mm -hmm. All of these combined together, and it's just eviscerating the Constitution. But they're able to carry this out because of that act, the SBPA Act, on March twenty third, two thousand and five. That takes a lot, a, a lot away of the power of the Constitution, and that's the first step toward that. So we're now a North American Union. So we're three states in one. So they want to come up. This is what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to come up eventually, modify the Constitution, and make it a a, I guess a North American Union constitution, or maybe perhaps a universal constitution? Well, it, it's sure. interesting. We'll have to wait and see. You know, I, I think it really depends on the information war, because I don't think that they can make an agreement that is above the constitution. People disagree about that. I don't think, though, that a, any treaty can be made that abrogates the constitution. But if people set back and allow them to do this, they'll get away with it. The whole point is, is that they're doing a lot of things that are against the law, that are against the Constitution, and then they're constantly coming back and trying to pass laws that essentially give them cover to do what they want. For example, the NSA spies for decades on people, collects information for decades on people. Now they're trying to get legal authority to do that because they, even though they've ignored the law for a long period of time, they, they don't like to have themselves out there fully exposed just in case people start to prosecute them for breaking the law and breaking their oath. Well, thank you, uh, Truth Raider. Let's, I want to go to a couple of people in California because we had some interesting news out of California last week. We had a state senator in California, Leland Yee, who was one of the, high, some people have said he's like the second most powerful person the uh, California Senate, I don't know, but regardless, he was one of the biggest pushers of gun control bills. And of course, he was busted in a sting by the FBI trying to sell guns. And he had some amazing quotes. He said, uh, do I think we can make some money? Yeah, I think we can make some money, according to the FBI transcripts. Do I think we can get the goods? Yeah, I think we can get the goods. People want to get whatever they want to get. Do I care? No, I don't care. People need certain things. Now, this is the guy who wanted to ban pretty much all semi-automatic weapons and most pistols in California. And, of course, some of the things that he's going to get people are things like even rocket launchers, not just M16s, but rocket launchers. Now, the L.A. Times points out, they say, that gun rights groups jumped on the possible ironies. Possible ironies? Are you kidding me? Possible ironies? <laughs> this thing is beyond irony, and hopefully he's going to go to jail, unlike Eric Holder and others in the ATF who orchestrated Fast and Furious in order to undermine the Second Amendment. That's not just my opinion. New York Times said that as well. And, of course, part of the running of guns across the border that False and Furious was about was so that they could make a case to register all guns and therefore confiscate eventually all guns. And that all ties into the UN arms trade treaty. That was going to be the basis to push us towards that treaty. But it kind of blew up in their face when a government agent got shot. But now the, the other thing that they're doing in California is they're trying to push this away from the Democrat, from Leland Yee. And they're talking now a lot about this gangster that was also arrested. There were 26 people that were arrested. And now they're talking about Shrimp Boy. This is a guy, San Francisco's notorious self-described son of the underworld. They spell that S-U-N. That's the way he described himself. Goes by several names, Chung Chow, Raymond Chow, and Shrimp Boy. I don't know what that means. But they say he's a former gangster and leader of the Chi Kung Tong Freemasons. Freemasons of San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, so there they are. Freemasons come back. This was uh, from NBC. Pointed out that Shrimp Boy is a Freemason. Let's go to uh, Glenn in California. Glenn, how are you doing? How'd you make out in the earthquakes out there? Oh, I was uh, unaffected by that. Um, I'm kind of about three or four hundred miles away from that, so I did okay. 
Good. Uh, good. Thank God for that. Yes. Um, with the, the Leland Yee thing, it's like the, all the senators over here, uh, Feinstein and uh, E and all those guys, they say they're going to get uh, gun rights and all that stuff. But in the limelight, they're all carrying. They have all bodyguards that carry. And yes. It's just the whole thing with the uh, Congress. Out here, it's like it's, uh, it's for us and then nobody else. And uh, how do we prosecute these people? How do we take our our constitution back? How do we take our government back? How do we how, how do we do this? I, I'm just frustrated. I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with this. It is very frustrating. I mean, from our perspective. What I'm trying to do is make people aware of it because so many people are not even aware of it. I think if we get a broader base of people who see this hypocrisy, who see the criminal actions, there's so many people. When, when Jakari Jackson went to South by Southwest here and he was asking people about gun regulations, he got into a discussion with a guy and he said, uh, well, you know that uh, Hitler banned the guns and aren't you worried about guns being solely in the hands of the government that they, there might be... Uh, something that would be very dangerous about that. And the guy that he's talking to says, yeah, I understand that, but we're talking about America here. That can't happen here. So he doesn't understand the danger, the hypocrisy, the criminal behavior that's going on with this. And so people need to understand that, yes, human nature does change. America is exceptional in a lot of ways, but we aren't exceptional in terms of our human spirit. Power corrupts. And it also draws the most corrupt people in society to it like a magnet. And so that's why the founders of this country ha gave us checks and balances and told us that if we were going to remain free, we had to be very, we had to watch those who had power, especially those who wanted power. We had to watch them extremely closely. And that's really what we need to do. We need, it's right now, it's at an education stage because I still think the vast majority of people, unless they are part of the NRA or Gun Owners of America, or one of these uh, gun rights associations, most people don't really understand the importance of the Second Amendment and its purpose. Thank you, Glenn. Let's uh, go to another person in California, Rick in California. Rick, how are you? Hi, David. How are you? We appreciate you and Alex and the show very much. Thank you. How'd you make out in the earthquakes? Well, pretty good on that. You know, I, I called in about the overwhelming evidence on uh, a couple of points on 9-11. You know, I'm a lawyer, and I, we work off of evidence, and you sound very, you know, professional and, uh, you know, in everything that you do, and uh, could appreciate that. But in more in line with your topic that you just brought up, you know, a case was brought in San Diego County saying that this uh, you have to have a shell-issue policy for concealed weapons permits, that it's unconstitutional in violation of the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. and, a, and Ninth Circuit, which is very liberal normally... Wait a second. Hang on, because we're coming up to a commercial break. I want to hear what you have to say. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available and original or with our immune support infusion 